Yeah, I go. Uh, it's been a wild up and down year, but if you guys, you know, three and zero in the last three games, you still have a chance to, or you, st- you would still go to Arlington for the Big Twelve Championship game. Is that a conversation you guys have had? Um, for sure. Uh, I mean, that's always the main goal: uh, playing in the Big Twelve Championship. So, yeah, for sure. And obviously. A lot's going on this year, but does does that help you kind of stay engaged? Because obviously there's there's you know the worry that COVID could happen to a team that doesn't have a whole lot to play for. But you guys still do. Do you think that helps? Yeah, it it definitely helps a lot. Um, I mean, it's just it's just the goal that I mean we strive we strive for and we work for every day out out in, on the practice field. So yeah, for sure. In terms of preparing for Iowa State, what have you kind of seen from them, or what do you? Feel like you guys have to emphasize as a defense when you play the Cyclones. Um, I mean, they're they're they got a great back and Brees Hall, so uh, so we got a gang tackle. Uh, just be around the ball and make plays, stop the run. Thanks, Echo. Kels. Hey, Echo. Thinking back to that Oklahoma game earlier this season, you hadn't played a, much at all before that. Things have gone so well for you since. What was just your mindset uh, mindset entering that game? What, what I mean, what were your thoughts going into that big stage? Um, I mean, I feel like I prepare for for that moment right there uh, out on the practice field every day, whether I know I'm going to play or not. So, I mean, I think the biggest thing was for sure just giving it all, giving them my all on the practice field, and um, being able to execute on the on the field when when it comes to when it comes to big play. So how did you stay patient uh, the last couple of years when, when you weren't playing much? Um, what, what, what was the secret there? Um, I mean, just the older guys uh, telling me that I'm going to I'm going to be a good player uh, and just to just to trust the process. And I mean, the coaches also telling me the same thing. So just keeping my head down and working every day out on the practice field. And, yeah, that's about it. What is it you think you have done best this season as a cornerback? Um, I think just the man coverage. Uh, I feel I feel real comfortable uh, playing man on man, and um, I think that that's that's my best attribute. What well, was there a moment in the game this season where something happened and you started thinking to yourself, "Yeah, okay, I, I'm here. I can do this." Was there like an aha moment at any point for you? Um. For sure. I mean, the Oklahoma game, um, first drive, just just feeling that contact, um, just making tackles right away. I mean, it builds confidence real quick. So. Okay. All right. Thanks, Echo. Appreciate it. Brian. Brian. Hey, Echo. How you doing today? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm doing fine. Well, hey, I'm I'm sorry. I'm just not getting these questions to you. I, I wanted to get you before the KU game, and unfortunately, I didn't get a request in for you. But I, I didn't know you, with you being a Lawrence High grad, uh, had you grown grown up a KU fan? Had they had they recruited you at all before you you got committed to K State? Um, so Kansas State actually offered me um, a day before KU did. Uh, they didn't recruit. I wouldn't say they recruited me. Um, they just Gave me the offer after K State, and nothing was said after that. So, yeah. And and with with Keenan, had you uh, had you ever played with him? Uh, played against him in high school before he got to before he got here to K State with you? Yeah, in high school, uh, yeah, we played we played against each other for two years. Uh, they they beat us both both the years. So, yeah. Have you gone up against him in practice much? Um. Yeah. And for sure, Keenan's a great, great receiver. Um, I think he's for sure one of the hardest to guard. And man on man, uh, real, real speed, physical guy. And in that regard, uh, is there a lot of the trash talk about the high school days when you guys are, are out there against each other? Um, here and there, we'll, we'll trash talk a little bit. But yeah, <laughs> those are my guys, Jackson Keenan. Coach Kleiman said he thought that you are the the fastest guy on the team. Do you uh do you agree with that? Do you do you consider yourself the fastest on the team based on what you've seen? I I definitely do agree with that. I do. <laughs> Who else is in the running with you? Um, K 
Keenan Garber for sure. Um, Philip Brooks also. I think those two guys would for sure compete. And then I guess my last thing is, you know, Coach Kleiman mentioned that that he he kind of points you out a lot as a guy who stayed patient and even though you hadn't played a lot prior to, to this season that you just kind of kept working hard and uh, kept your head down and just kept kept working. What uh, How hard, though, has it been the past two years? Because, I mean, hey, I mean, just, just look at how many guys, they don't get a little bit of playing time and, and they immediately just transfer and, and leave. So what, what is it, you know, that you've been able to do that you just said, I'm going to keep working and see if I can make it work out here? Um, I mean, like I said, just, just the coaches uh, encouraging me and the older guys let me know that my time will come and that I just need to trust the process. And I mean, I have a great support system with my family. Um, so living in Kansas and just being an hour away, it's not too bad. If I'm not playing, I know my time will come. Thank you, Echo. I appreciate it. Last one here, Jackson. Hey, Echo, just to kind of follow up on Ryan's question, just in that little rivalry you got with your teammates from Lawrence, uh, does it, did it feel good this year since, since you went uh, over against those guys when you were there to watch Lawrence High win uh, against Free State this year? And then how did it feel to watch Lawrence High play so well this season and know that you had a pretty heavy hand in helping develop that team into what they are now? Yeah, I'm, I'm close with a few of the guys. Uh, and that go to uh, Lawrence High and that play football. So, um, I mean, it was great to see him have a successful, uh, successful year. So, uh, yeah. And then just with having a good group of younger guys come to K State from Lawrence, how weird has that been to come from Lawrence into Manhattan and kind of just into a different environment? Has it been kind of a weird experience with how you grew up around KU and everything? Honestly, no, uh, because, I mean, with me, Keenan, and Jax, uh, we, our, our dream was always to play uh, at the same school, and the most realistic uh, school was either KU or K-State, and Kansas State did a great job of recruiting all of us, so I think it was just, it was just a no-brainer. And how would you say it's gone so far now that you guys are each starting to see a lot more playing time? It's, it's, gone, it's gone well, um, for sure. It's gone well, for sure.